Hi, I'm Clint with Tech Bargains, and today we're looking at Auto Stitch Panorama by Cloudburst Research. You can download this app on the iPhone, the iPod Touch, iPad, Mac, and PC. I found this app in the App Store for $1.99, pretty cheap. The reason I chose this app is because I'm no good at taking pictures. Um, whenever I can find an app that can help me to do that, I definitely take advantage of it. And today I found Auto Stitch. Um, what Auto Stitch allows you to do is take multiple pictures of a scene, put them together into one picture. Let me show you. Click on Auto Stitch, and what comes up first is your photo album of your iPhone. Now, you will have had to have taken pictures beforehand uh, because you can't actually take pictures within Auto Stitch. So, after you've taken pictures, you're going to want to click on Camera Roll. And then through there, you'll choose the pictures that you want to make into a scene. Here I've only got four, and it adds in down here. Once it's done, it allows you to clear it or click on Stitch. Stitch is going to um, render everything together into the one picture. Let me show you. This goes fairly quickly with only having four pictures, but keep in mind that the more pictures that you take, the longer it's going to take to render uh, those pictures into one solid scene. The other reason I chose um, this scene here, which is actually my kitchen, is because it's a close-up scene. Uh, on things that are close-up, you're going to get a fishbowl kind of look to them, as you can see here starting. But when you're looking at uh, mountains or a forest, you're not going to get that, that fishbowl look. This is just about done here. Okay, from here You've got a couple different options. If you want to uh, fix your picture up a little bit, you can do some cropping. This allows you to bring it in however you like, make it smaller. Then you can either crop it or you can cancel it and crop. Now you want to do something with it. Well, with this new version of Auto Stitch, it's actually going to allow you, let's click this button here, to either save it to your photo album send it to uh, someone else through via email or post it up on Facebook. For now we're just going to save it to the photo album. And it's saved. There are a couple options you can actually do uh, as far as resolutions and blending. Let me back up, show you those. You can click on info here and we'll have to do it twice. In options it allows you to uh, as I said before, change your resolution. We're going to go ahead and click on that. You've got four options. Um, low will render things very fast. Standard, obviously, a little faster. And high, or excuse me, uh, standard a little slower. High, even more slow. If you click on advanced here, it gives you a little bit more options you can choose from. You can actually choose a percentage of the resolution that you want to save it as. Um, for testing earlier, I tried uh, doing a resolution of 100% and also a maximum size of 18 megapixels. Uh, in a nine picture uh, scene, that took roughly eight to nine minutes to do. So just keep in mind that the more pictures you take, the higher or the longer it's going to take you to render. And also, um, the options that you choose are, are greatly going to affect um, the time it takes, also. The other option I want to show you is actually help here. This will give you some information um, regarding how to take the photos, um, how to hold the camera, things like that. Also you've got this tutorial video and I, I think you're going to want to look at that. Um, he actually has a mountainous scene where he takes several pictures and goes through that. It's just another uh, view you can, you can see uh, before you actually try it yourself. A couple of things that I did not like about this app um, is that I wish I had geotagging in it so that you know if you go let's say to Estes Park or something uh, you could actually tag that. The other option I wish that it had was actually a camera inside of Auto Stitch that so you could um, take your pictures and then render them at the same place rather than taking your pictures and then going into Auto Stitch and then doing it. It's, it's not that big of a deal but it would have been nice to just have them have that in the app itself. If you liked this video review, please subscribe to the YouTube channel 
Tech Bargains. You can do that through www.youtube.com forward slash users forward slash tech bargains. Thank you very much for watching.